How's it going, everybody? What's up? Michael here. Welcome to my channel, Dad vs. CPS. Okay, so today I walked into the uh, post office and I saw a postal scale, a digital scale, and I thought that it would be very cool to to own one of these. I've always seen these there. Never gotten a chance to get one of these. So I wanted to show y'all exactly how much it costed and then for this one this one I paid um, $39.99 okay and I bought two books of stamps okay so I'm going to um, open this scale up and I want you sh I want to show y'all where it's brand new and it still has the dust on there because they I guess they had it for a while <laughs> the lady even told me, um, sir, uh, we've had these for a while. I don't even know if they work. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing. Here it is. Let's see how our scale works. I have a plug right here, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a plug in. All right. All right. Let's see if this weighs appropriately. So that's point two. Okay, guys. So the whole point of me buying the skill was so that I can show y'all that, well, you don't have to wait in lines anymore. Yes, that. Yes, we know that. But if you knew that a forever stamp, which is at 55 cents right now, if you knew that that covered one ounce of your correspondence, well, it would make it a little bit more easier for you to be able to go into the post office and, um, I guess, calculate it right. For instance, one letter. <laughs> Point 0.1 ounce okay so obviously I could put more that's an empty envelope if you haven't seen my channel that versus CPS check it out okay uh, please uh, don't forget to like share um, and of course always always subscribe <laughs> and uh, hit the bell so you can get all my notifications on all your dad versus CPS videos all right. Okay, so I get a lot of questions. And one of the questions I get is, Michael, how do you, um, you know, write out, you know, your address on a letter? And, well, here it is. So I put my name, and that, yes, that's the correct pronunciation, punctuation. Okay, so it will be in care of real route, and then you put your address one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, F, Lane, right? And uh, your city, you're going to spell it out, no abbreviations, San Antonio, and then your state is going to be Texas, right? Or, or your state, of course, right? But you don't put any abbreviations, okay? You don't do that, you spell it out. And, of course, we're going to put zip exempt because we don't want to be using zip codes. And why is that? 
Well, let's take a look at what the Supreme Court of the United States says about using zip codes. Here it is. I wrote it at the bottom. And it says, the Supreme Court of the United States has said that use of a zip code is a tenement to the admission of being a citizen of the United States who does not necessarily have the protections of the first eight amendments to the Constitution in the Bill of Rights when preceded against by federal or state authority. Maxwell versus Dow. Okay. So in other words, if you use zip code, then you're a U.S. citizen and you don't have the protections of the first eight amendments uh, of your Bill of Rights when proceeded against a state or federal authority. Now think about that. Kind of like CPS. Kind of like the marshals. Kind of like whatever government may be. Yeah, like that. So that's why you don't want to be using zip codes. And, uh, well, this is just an example, but, um, so far we wanted to be writing to the president, um, that's the address to the White House, in case anybody wants to write to the president. And, uh, I thought it would be pretty cool if I did, did a silhouette of, um, President Biden, <laughs> <laughs> since, uh, my channel is kind of like that. Anyways, um, that versus CPS, like, share, and subscribe.